Hello friends. So today our topic is modern analysis. So in previous class we have discussed about the static analysis. So this is a part of a dynamic analysis and in in this video we will cover about the what is modern analysis and how we can do modern analysis of crankshaft using ANSYS. So this is a two part video series. In first part we have to understand what is modern analysis and in second part we have to solve the problem using ANSYS. Let's get started. First of all, we have to understand what is modern analysis. Modern analysis is a type of dynamic analysis where to determine the characteristics of the system without any standard loading. So for example, for a structure like damping, amount is generally neglected in this kind of problems. So we, 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 we will not consider any damping or any standard loading in the modern analysis problem. So, so it means that the deformation or maybe elongation happens due to the natural frequencies or maybe due to the mass and stiffness matrices then this kind of problems is called modern analysis so you are, we, are, we all understand everything vibrates this is the fact of life and modern analysis is a technique used to characterize how a structure we have dynamically okay better understand in a simple way so modern analysis is a fundamental dynamic analysis providing the natural frequency at which a structure will resonate. These, natu these natural frequencies are param paramount importance of various engineering field suspensions are usually turned into have different natural frequencies for passenger cars and race car. So this is very, very important. For example, it gives a general answer to the questions what are the limitations of system response and how the given input such a load applied at a given amplitude and frequency will behave. So in this case, we have also two types, forced vibration and free vibration. In this problem, we are going to solve the problem without any external forces, without any force vibrations. Okay. So they are the mode shape due to the natural frequencies. So we, we have, um, we, we, we all understand what are the mode shape. The mode shape are the behavior of the internal arrangement of the subject or body due to, due to the natural frequencies so here the mode 1 mode 2 mode 3 mode 4 mode 5 we can we can create lots of modes we can generate we can plot more than five maybe less than five depends about our requirement but generally we have a six degree of freedom so I, we will consider at least six mode of mode shape to decide the behavior of product or subject I hope this much you are clear. Now, in today problem, we have taken the engineering data for a, st a structural steel. So this is the ideal case of crankshaft, and uh, we are going to take the material property of uh, a structural steel, which having the value of Young modulus, Poisson ratio, bulk modulus, shear modulus. All values are given below. You can check out and we can pause the button, pause the video here itself, and just note down. For your further instructions so these are the given data for our problem on which we are going to solve in the ANSYS so today video is all about our model analysis once again I am going to repeat modern analysis is a type of analysis where we run the analysis to the natural frequencies without having any external loading standard damping so here we just find out the natural frequencies of the product or subject without having damping without having any external loading and here we have two type of um, model analysis one force vibration and another is free vibrations so today's example is only about free vibrations so this uh, this much from today video and in next video i will going to solve the problem in ansys i hope you understand this video i hope you understand the concept of model analysis if you have any questions any doubt feel free to ask through comment box i will definitely reply the answers if you are first time viewer to my channel, please like my video, subscribe to my channel. You will get lots of information about mechanical engineering products like designing, affiliate marketing, website designing, sales marketing tips, then freelancing. The lots of things you will get in my channel. So please stay tuned with me and try to subscribe to my channel right now itself. Thank you so much.